Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again up here on the mountain and we're going to do a spark, DJI Spark range test with the parabolic dish antennas. Um, you may have seen my other video, I did a full on range test without the parabolic dish antennas. And I'm just going to try to go straight out here, try to keep it like 400 feet, you know, above ground level. Kind of hard to tell because there is no gauge, you know, on the app to know how exactly how high you are. But we're just going to give it a try and see how far we can get with these parabolic dishes. If you remember on my other test without them, I got about two miles. So we're going to see if we point these in the same direction as the spark. We're going to try to see if we get further than this. So it's a perfect day today. I'm going to just go straight in one direction. A little bit into the wind is about five miles per hour. And we're going to see just how far we can get. So let's boot this thing up and get started. Okay, cool. So I'll be recording the screen for you guys to see and what we're going to do is take off as soon as possible because we already uh, are eating battery power and then I'll also have the um, 1080p video on the Spark up. So we're going to go ahead and start recording and let's take off. So sliding to take off. And we want to go ahead and go up about 20 to 30 feet, just so it gets its home position. Precision landing. Okay, so that's 30 feet, should be good enough. We're gonna immediately switch into sport mode. Okay, and let's just go for it. So straight forward. Let's see how far we can get. Cool, so I'm just going to go straight out this way. And again, I'll be switching between the two screens so you guys can see this. Let's tilt down a little bit. So it's not so dark. Okay, so I'm full throttle forward. We can see that we're going about 29 miles per hour, about 30 miles per hour. Full stick forward. And I'm just pointed kind of directly at the drone. Perfect. All right, cool. Pull up the map here and go ahead and see what's going on. You can see we can switch between the map on the left here. And keep in mind, this is 5.8 gigahertz and I am using the OTG cable. So I'm gonna do one more flight with the 2.7, 2.4 gigahertz actually, and see if we get more range than this. Okay, so still going strong, 30 miles per hour, just reaching 4,000 feet distance. And of course the height is only going to record from its home point, which is zero to it, to the drone, so it doesn't know the ground altitude, so not really sure how high we are from the exact ground, but we should be within a couple hundred feet, it looks like, because the mountain does slope down in this direction. You can see there's the ocean there. Cool, so I'm just gonna keep it pointed at the drone and just keep flying. You can see our signal's only at like two bars, we're 5.8 gigahertz. Um, we've got 16 satellites, so we should be A-OK -okay for our GPS location services. And um, 6,000 feet distance. It's looking like the FPV is still pretty rock solid. No problem. Cool, looks like we're pointed in the right orientation. What I what I should say is with the Spark, you probably wanna do a um, compass calibration each time before you fly. Um, I did a flight before this off video a few days ago and it seemed like it was kind of crabbing to one direction just because it didn't seem like the compass was correct. So I definitely recommend on this drone 
go ahead and do a compass cal before you get up there and fly each time. Jeez. Okay, so still full stick forward. And the FPV is looking great with these parabolic dishes. We've got no clouds in this line of sight, so we should be pretty good. Still full stick forward. We are in sport mode. And we are, okay, so it's gonna return to home. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it just to get us a little bit more distance. Um, this is a little bit risky, but the wind's coming this direction. It's gonna be against it when it's coming home. So I think we should be okay for just a little bit more time. So as we can see, we're doing better with the parabolic dishes. At this point, it was really chopping in and out in my last video. So with the parabolic dishes, I'm going to say yes. You will get more range with these and a more solid signal. So I'm gonna stop right here, letting off the stick. And I'm gonna turn it left and right. Just yaw a bit. Yeah, so I still have pretty good control, a little bit more laggy, but not bad at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just kind of floor it on home now just so we're, we don't drop out of the sky on the way home. And the cool thing you can do is just follow your line on the way back. Switch into the map mode if you wanted to manually come home and just try to precisely follow that line in a straight line all the way back. So I'm just zooming back in sport mode. We're at 46%, so we should be fine. We're coming with the wind now, so there should be no issue coming home even with that little bit of um, little bit of over the um, calculated return to home battery power. So be really careful doing that when you shut off the return to home, the auto return to home. Looks like it's pretty windy. It sees some wind. And I'm gonna just close these warnings there. Cool. So this will be a good test too. Um, if the Android phone crashes, it crashed in each each flight at least once when I've been doing these um, range tests. So we'll see on this one what happens. So trying to just keep it right on the line coming home. Really good way to know exactly which way to go if you go into the map here and you just stay on that line. I'm just making tiny little yaw adjustments to stay pretty close to that, that line there. And I haven't gone up or down at all. It's maintaining its about 35 feet. Kind of wandering off the line a little bit. Of course, you could always go ahead and just, um, you know, do a return to home and do this. But I thought it might be a good idea just to try it manually with this one and see if we can get back. I am still full pitch forward. I think coming home on return to home, it was only coming home at about... 27 miles per hour between 22 and 27 I forget so we're going a little faster coming home now 34% power so getting a little nervous but we are at a mile right now so I think it should be okay I'm gonna scroll the screen one of the things I really wish this thing could do is um, kind of scroll with the drone I'm gonna press this Turn the head, I'm getting a little bit off the line here. I don't want to get too much off the line because then it's going to diminish my direct return to home and eat up my battery power. So I'm going to press on this little GPS icon here. I'm going to press on the drone and it should be centering on it. There we go. It still doesn't really follow it though. Cool, so 29% and I'm zooming it back. Really hope we have enough power to get back. Full pitch forward here. It's gonna be, yeah, should be okay. 2,500 feet away, 26% battery. With this one, once it hits about 10%, it starts to slowly land. Um, but you can actually throttle it up 
and still control it. Yeah, we should be making it back no problem. We're at 24% and we're almost back over these trees. Still at 35 feet high. You can see how well it's keeping its height there. Pretty much 35 the whole way, I think, with a um, little adjustment. It would have went higher if I went, if I did a return to home, but didn't have to do that. So zooming on back, I can hear it. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here since we're pretty much overhead. And I'm gonna go ahead and initiate a return to home. Just press the button and slide to return home. And it is gonna go up to the set 100 feet height I have for the return to home height. And that's pertaining to its launch altitude at zero. So it doesn't know the altitude of the ground. It just knows zeroed out where it launches from. So we'll go ahead and let it come home and see how precision this landing is. Again, this one is super uh, precise as long as you lift it up about 20 to 30 feet so it can use that precision landing. So now it should be kind of looking down at its uh, landing pad, calculating the best landing position. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn the face the exact bearing of where it launched from, and it's gonna come straight down. So see how it does, it looks like it's a little off. Hopefully it kind of adjusts itself. Ah, there it goes, it moved over a bit. And see how close it gets to the middle of that H. Nice, slowing way down, looking at the ground. I haven't touched the controls since I put it in return to home. Oh, it went off just a little bit. But that's pretty darn good and we have 9% power, power left. So remember on this one to stop the video pretty much immediately. Um, otherwise if it powers off or you unplug it, you'll lose your video. So cool guys, that's the Spark with the parabolic dishes. Um, definitely does better than just with the antennas. So I can honestly say that these little five to $10 things will give you much more range. Just keep in mind that you have to point in the general direction of the craft. So make sure you know where it is and you're pointing right at it. But um, definitely got over two miles with it with pretty good video. And I better shut this thing off because I'm burning bat battery power and uh, don't want to ruin our batteries. So anyway, we'll have the video up on the screen on the phone and also on the drone so you guys can see what that's all about. And I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.